guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so first things first, I do apologise, I have been AWOL for a couple of weeks. I'm going to be honest, I've had no motivation whatsoever to get things done. Um, I filmed a lot before I went on holiday and then had that pre-filmed so it came out and then once I got back off holiday, nothing. I was not impressed. So I just haven't been doing it, I've just had no motivation to film so I am really really sorry. I am wanting to get back into it, I'm trying to get back into my mojo and the swing of things. Um, I've got some hauls to do for you, I want to do an engagement story video and I'm also going to journey to hell at Blackpool Pleasure Beach on Friday. So I'm thinking and toying with the idea of maybe doing a vlog style video but by the time this is up that'll have already been so either future me will be like yeah video or future me will be like definitely not. So I'm just gonna have to see how things go. As you can tell from the title, I am going to be doing an in the style haul today. Um, if you've seen my videos in the past, you'll know that I have a non-existent love, a lot of existent hate with in the style, but I have had a few comments on my videos asking me to do them again with some of the newer stuff. So that's what I'm doing. A few bits are from new lines, some are from older lines, some are from the sale, all that sort of stuff. Um, but it's not looking good if I'm honest, guys. I have done a sneak peek and I've done some, you know, looking and I don't think it's going to go well but I could be surprised. One thing I do have to say as well for this haul is I have received items that I didn't order and I've also not received items that I did order so that's not a great start either. So you know sour taste in my mouth so far but I'm going to stop rambling and just get straight into the video and move on with number one, piece number one which is what I'm wearing and do you know why I'm wearing it because I've already filmed this bit um, and realised that my phone wasn't recording so I've had to start again and I'm sorry but I can't wait to get changed. So we're going to start with this, this is a black peplum that I ordered and this is from Stacey Solomon's line. Um, I got it in a size 24 but I don't know if you can tell this is far too big for me. Um, normally with in the style I have to size up two, three times to fit the clothes. This just isn't working. I could probably have got a size 20 in this. Now this one was £20. Um, I think that might have been on sale. I can't remember, but I don't think it's worth the money. So it's a nice top. It's ribbed. It fits comfortably, obviously, because it's a lot bigger than it needs to be. But it feels like a quite thin material. It is ribbed, but it is thin and quite see-through. And it feels like the sort of material you'd get from Boohoo. So I think you could get this for like £7, £10, sort of similar style thing. Um, but yeah, not feeling it. So this is it from the front. And then from the back, as you can tell, plenty of room. So this, unfortunately, is not a good start to the video. But the, there's a couple of babies. I don't know. Um, I'm going to be positive, okay? Let's all be positive and think that I'm going to find my next, like, dream outfit in here. So let's just move on to the next item. So the next item is this top. Now, this is a square neck, as we know, I love a square neck, with a little ruched, so it's not ruched sleeve, gathered sleeve, creates like a bit of a bloom sleeve, goes in at the way, at the um, umpire, empire line, and then flows out. And it's a really nice length. I got this in a size 22, and this was £10 in the sale, which I think is really good. I am a little bit concerned about this colour on me because it is quite not dull, I don't know what the word is, like, too, I don't want to say insipid because that's not very nice, but it's a little bit insipid. Um, but I'm hoping the pattern will take away from the colour. Okay, so the top fits, it's a size 22 and it probably, I could have sized down. Um, so again, the sizing's much more generous than it was last time I tried within the style. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I feel like this makes me look really broad. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to pull these in, but they keep pinging back. So I think it's okay. The pattern's all right. I'm not overwhelmed by it. I'm not underwhelmed. I'm just whelmed. Um, but yeah, not. It's all right. Um, not the most flattering, but not the most horrendous. And this is it from the front, and then from the back, as you can see, plenty of room, and it covers my bum. It covers it quite a lot, to be fair. And I like it a little bit higher. So if I like jingle it probably the right length. Again with me, all the tops seem to bunch right under my boobs, so I have to make sure it doesn't make me look like a mushroom, um, which in the most case it does, so I just have to deal with that. But this is, it's okay, but again I'm trying not to film a wardrobe of stuff that I just kind of like, so I have a feeling this one will be going back. Whilst I'm on the topic of this pattern, I'm going to show you this one. Now I ordered a maxi skirt and this is what came. So, don't know how I feel about this. 
again it's the pattern that i'm just the color like the pink just makes me feel like it's gonna wash me out not not be very exciting but i thought we could just try it on with this top for shits and giggles so the top is a size 24 this is a size 20 the top's a size 22 this is a size 24 <laughs> together i look like a jungle princess um as a size 24 it's tighter on the arms than i think it should be it's just not going to do much is it it's a floaty sleeve if this is your style i think it'd be fine i definitely would size up because this is a 24 and it's not that forgiving and then from the back this is what it looks like just thought i'd do pattern on pattern because why not um but yeah this is the top don't know how much this was so i, I can't comment because i didn't order it but i just wanted to show you it on just in case you were looking on the website yourself but for me this is this is a no-go so the next item i'm going to show you is this long dress jacket thing this is from stacy sullivan's collection i think from her last collection um as i recognize the print now this has really cute balloon sleeves but for the the fact that it is a size 24 is absolutely gobsmacking it came together buttoned up and it is no way in hell a size 24 not a 24 that i'd buy anyway um i think it's really cute i love the pattern i bought it in the hope that i could wear it with jeans that sort of style um not as a dress but i just a little bit concerned so we'll just throw it on and just see what happens okay so as i expected not a hope in hell i mean look at that that is pulling it as tight as i can without obviously ripping it size 24 i've just got on leggings and a vest top underneath this so it's not like i'm bulking it out or anything but it's just not gonna fit i love the sleeves on this because i do love a balloon sleeve i think it's really pretty around the back it's plenty big enough but obviously because it's open um and the arms they're not tight at all so this is it from the front and you can see the length on me is fine i'm not going to trip over it and then from the back like i said plenty of room this would be really cute as a jacket like open and i wouldn't mind it in this size however it has these little like flaps where the buttons are meant to button up and i just think it makes it look clearly like it's meant to be a dress whereas if it was tucked in i think it'd be more like fine as a jacket but for me it's just not worth it so 17.50 it was definitely off on sale but for me it's just not worth the money to keep it when i'm not that keen on it and it's sizing is this disastrous okay so on to the next item is this t-shirt now this is the lad baby mom line that's just come out and it just says i need coffee so anyone who knows me knows that i love a coffee and i just thought this was really cute i don't really own any t-shirts that i wear as t-shirts kind of like out with a pair of jeans and i just thought this was a bit nicer than some t-shirts i've seen um like primark sort of t-shirts that bunch up and pill and all that sort of stuff um but i could wear it kind of as a t-shirt as a nighty dress sort of thing or well, not as a nighty because it's not a big um but i thought it was really cute and this was 10 pounds on sale i am trying to find the size of it but there isn't a tag in the top so i'm hoping there's a tag there's no tags i mean great i mean oh hang on was that a tag no i don't know what the size this is i'm going to assume it's a 24 22 24 i don't know why you wouldn't have tags in them probably because it doesn't have seams down the side isn't that fancy it does have seams on the side i'm just gonna stop rambling and just put it on okay so i'm not that keen um i'm being really negative today i'm sorry i'm either in a mood or i'm just not happy with this style but this i found the tag the tag is on the shoulder here isn't that a bit weird um this is a size 22 to 24 plenty of room if you can see it's probably on the bigger side but it does stick to my hips as everything does but it's absolutely roomy you know and it has stretch in it if you wanted to kind of yank at it um i think it's okay i'm not a fan of t-shirt necklines so i don't know why i keep trying to buy them and work with them i feel like i need a bit more of a, 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 a like a looser neckline if that makes sense but yeah 22 24 the arms are plenty long enough and i definitely roll these up from the front this is what it looks like and then from the back you know plenty of room it's really long so it's going right down below my bum um but it's just not the most flattering thing um but yeah 10 pounds if this is something that you'd like or something that you think you'd wear as like a casual thing it is really long i've just noticed how long it is so if you are on the tour side it's probably really good for you or if you want a long line it's great 10 pounds can't complain the quality feels really nice just the style and the fit on me is a bit of a eh -eh. 
Okay, so to carry on the Lab Baby Mum collection, I got this sweatshirt and this says it's a messy bun and leggings kind of day, I think, yes. And this was £14 on sale. I got this in a size, is it weirding on the shoulder again? It doesn't say what size it is. I, I don't understand. I'm assuming, again, a size 24 or a 22, if I can, there we go. Um, I got this in a size 26, 28, I lied, um, thinking it was gonna be oversized. Now, I'm not even gonna put this on for you because it doesn't fit. I buy sweatshirts all the time. I live in them when I'm working from home. And I always buy a size 22 from Tesco, from Asda. Um, where else do I buy them? All the other places that I buy sweatshirts from in a size 22 and they're normally really oversized or at least oversized to an extent. This is skin tight and I mean skin tight and this is a size 26, 28 so something's wrong here. There is no stretch whatsoever to the sweatshirt either. As you can see it just goes past my middle part so it does fit but it's not comfortable at all and to be honest I don't want to try and stretch it out or anything because I'm just not going to keep this. £14 would have been a really good price for this if it fit but it's just an absolute no-go and I'm just so angry that it's a size 26 28 and it's tight I went for a 26 28 to be really oversized and that's what I got so imagine if I bought a 22 it would have like fitted Barbie doll but unfortunately cute idea just terrible sizing okay so on to the dresses that I've bought I think yeah I'm on to dresses now um this is a peplum style shorter one and this is from Stacey Solomon's line again I got this in a size 24 and it is a t-shirty material and it has that little frilly empire line. I'm not sure how I feel about this because it feels like it could be quite frumpy on me. The one thing I love to do with dresses is wear a belt around here and I'm just worried that this frill is going to stop me. But I thought it was really cute and this was on sale for £14.40 and it looked really lovely on Stacey's like models and her and everything. So I was hoping for the best. And a size 24, it looks plenty big enough so I'm just hoping that this is going to look at least a bit better than everything else. <laughs> I just can't catch a break. What is this? Um, so this is obviously the dress on and it is the most ugly thing on me. Don't like the neckline at all. It makes me look really butch. And this is the size, this is the size 24. I'm gonna try not to flash you my underwear. Um, it's plenty big enough slash probably two sizes too big. It just does nothing for me. Length is decent if, this is what you're after um but it's just not gonna work so this is it from the front and then from the back you can see again plenty of room plenty of length i was gonna wear this with like a chunky cardigan and black tights but this is a no-go for 14 pound 40 it's a really nice quality dress and i'm sure it would work on other people but for me when i've got my my smallest is kind of i don't really know i don't really have a smallest but I like to cinch myself in and I think with a belt it just wouldn't work. So if I was a balloon, I'd be deflated right about now. Um, but yeah, just not, just not working. Okay, so I'm keeping everything and I mean everything crossed this next one. This is from Jess Millichamp's line. I think that's how you say her last name. I love her and I follow her on Instagram, but I've never thought about guessing what her last name is. I know her husband's called Millie. That's about, so I'm assuming it's Millie Champ. Millie Champ, Millie Champ, Jess. Um, this is from her line and this is like a tropical print dress. Now this is the same print that I ordered for the midi, the maxi skirt that never came. Um, and I really wanted that, so that's a bit of a shame. Um, but this is a really cute dress. It's a proper crossover, which I think is lovely and has these cute little cap sleeves and has a very tropical vibe. Um, I got this in a size 24. But again, I don't think it's going to fit me properly. Um, I did watch her stories and her sizing after I bought it. And she, I think she said to size up if you wanted it to, like you if probably size up for a better fit. And I have done because I'm obviously 22 normally, but I don't think this is going to work. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to wrap it together and then you won't have to see anything of my nether region. Um, so let's just go for it. I'm really sad about this one. So I put it on and it fits. And to be fair to her, I got the 24 and it is to a point where if I tie it tighter, it's gonna gather all this fabric. So it is the right size. Across the shoulders, plenty of room as you can see, and it's plenty of room around the belly. 
my problem is with the chest so i don't know if you can tell on camera but it's quite gapy but then quite wholly there so i don't understand this again i don't have big boobs i'm a 40d probably on average um and this is kind of how it's sitting there are double clasps so you can clasp it where i've just had it or you can clasp it here if it wants to there so you can have it either or you know double up why not um but i love the print of this i think it's so pretty i'm a bit worried that it's on the shorter side because i would probably like it like that but i think it's less flattering there so it's not really working i just think the shape's wrong for me rather than it being a bad fit if that makes sense so like i was saying this ties round and i really want to tie it like that um but it takes the fabric in so this is it from the front <laughs> like I've just shown you, and then from the back, so plenty of room around my bum, around my back's tighter, but I have just yanked it. But again, I think my biggest problem with this is actually the length. I wish it was just like a couple of inches longer because I don't like that part of my leg and I want it to keep it covered. But I'm sad because I really like this and I want it to fit properly. No, <laughs> I'll get over it. Price-wise, this one was 20 pounds. I think I've either, I've either told you that or I'm telling you now. I think £20 is really good. It has loads of um, lining, so it feels comfortable. It feels good quality. But again, it's just too big around the boobs for me. And it's just not cut right. But that's for my body style. I'm not having to go at this dress, actually. Unlike I've had to go at everything else. I just don't think it's right for my body shape. Okay, so my final item is this pattern. It's back again. Um, but this is a maxi dress. So this is a faux wrap maxi dress. And if you know me, you know that's kind of like my go-to style. I keep getting hiccups. Really sorry. Um, but this is like my go-to style. Now I got this in a size 24. Again, this is Jess's line. Comes with the tags, tags, the tie. It looks really cute and it has the long sleeve. It is that crepey material, so there is no stretch. Um, but I'm just hoping that this fits because this is such a cute dress. It has a little slit. I think this would just be so lovely for like evenings out and all that sort of stuff. So let's just try this one on. Okay, we are so close to getting something that I like. I really like this dress. And funnily enough, I love the pattern in this maxi dress. I love that it's got the balloon sleeves. It's so pretty. Lengthwise, it is on the longer side. Um, I probably won't trip over it, but it's a bit annoying. It's got the cute little slit, but not too high because no one wants to see up here, really. Um, and it's got the faux crossover with the belt. Now, arms really comfortable, back comfortable. Again, it's the bust problem. This time it feels too small, um, but then it gapes here. So I don't get it. The last dress had the space under the arms. This has no space. It does have the two thingamajigs. Obviously, I know you're only meant to do up one, depending on your fit, but that one's too small. And this one just leaves me a bit too open unless i just wear it with a vest top or like a little bandeau stretchy bandeau underneath i'm gonna need some help with this one because i don't know how i feel so this is it from the front and then from the back you can see plenty of room around my bum it is tighter on the back though so i'm just not sure but this is a size 24 i think it's probably the nicest one out of all of them and it's so close to being something that i want to keep and for 20 was it 27 pounds yeah 27 <sighs> I just don't know. I need I need your opinions. Um, I just wish this fit a bit better around here. That's my biggest thing. Oh, I don't know. Is this? Do I keep this? Do I not keep this? I'm probably going to look back when I'm editing and go, oh, get rid of it. So I don't know. Please let me know down below your thoughts. Okay, so that is the end of the video, and I I will be the first to say I've been a right negative Nancy on this video, um, but I get so, so frustrated. I've bought things from a size 22, like this top, which was oversized, up to a size 26, 28, which was probably the tightest one on, and which I didn't try on because it was too tight. I just get so frustrated with the sizing, so this looks dreadful with that open. I might have to just do it like that, and I, I don't know. Um... I just get so frustrated because there's things there's like four different sizes between 22 and 28 and the 22 is too big and the 28 is too small so explain that to me please and also this this dress is a 24 this top is a size 22 the same fabric the same clothing line yet the tops on the bigger side and the dress is on the smaller side yet the dress is one size up i'm gonna stop 
going on about it but sizing what is wrong with these brands and get the sizing wrong and i really was hoping that instyle was improving because they're you know collaborating with so many different people now and they've got plus size ranges and all that but they're just not getting it right or they're just catering to one sort of plus size shape i don't know what's going on um but that's kind of how i feel if you have shopped with, with um in style and you are plus size like me please let me know what you think i do have some people that say oh my god i love in the style what shape are you because this shape doesn't work so i'm not very busty i have a belly on me i don't i mean i do have a bum it's not that fantastic and i've got you know chunky thighs and chunky legs so i'm pretty much just chunky all over i'm not that sort of voluptuous big boobs in at the waist like flat stomach but nice wide hips i'm not that i'm just constantly pregnant um but yeah i'm just i'm just annoyed now so i'm gonna have to go and do some shopping online just to make myself feel better probably have to go to you know a brand that i trust not in the style but please let me know what you think down below please also tell me if i've ranted too much because i feel like i've ranted too much and i'm sorry for my first video back after a few weeks um but yeah just not happy but please do let me know what you think please also let me know what other brands you'd like me to try that i might not have tried so far um i really want to try some different ones i've seen bloom cheek chic whatever it's called and there's a few other ones like runway i just don't know whether to try them or just to stick to my trusty sheen um and I need to try ASOS as well. I'm also thinking of doing some more different style videos. So I would like to do maybe like a Christmas party dress try on from different brands to try and find my work Christmas party dress. I have had some requests from people wanting me to do like jeans from all these different brands and all that sort of thing. Please let me know if that's be something that you like or if there's just something completely different you want me to try. But it's lovely to speak to you all. Thank you for everyone who supports me and continues to watch my videos. I hope you're having a lovely week and I will see you soon.